to Hey, this is Rob Oliver, and this is our Saturday morning tailgate talk. Today, I'm with Philip Newman, who's our newest salesman. Uh, he's been here, he came, worked part of last year, and then he came back and decided a couple days ago he wanted to join our team again, so we're glad to have Philip. Uh, I believe Philip grew up in Central Kentucky, didn't you? I did. Born and raised in Richmond. Uh, lived most of my life in Lexington. Uh, graduated from Lafayette High School, and it was the high school you went to, and the high school Roddy went to, actually, too. Uh, I'm a little younger, so I graduated in 1988. Uh, after, you got an age is good. <laughs> I don't I feel older. I feel like I graduated in 1978. But after, but after I graduated high school, uh, joined the Marine Corps, spent 10 wonderful years in the Marines. I uh, wouldn't change that for my life. Uh, love being a Marine, love being a vet, love taking care of vets. Uh, something special, some bond about when you serve this uh, military. So you, you have a lot of connection with veterans. Absolutely, right absolutely. I'm trying to join some more Marine Corps leagues locally. Uh, I keep in touch with about 26 of the four Marines I served with via Facebook or uh, Twitter. So we all try to stay in touch. We just had a reunion last year, which went over really well. You were in, you served where? I served in the uh, United States Marine Corps. I served in the first Gulf War. Uh, then I served, finished my last tour in Oklahoma, Japan. And what did you do after you got out of the Marine after I got out of the Marine Corps, I had a little money uh, saved up. I started my own company. Uh, I always thought I was computer savvy, so I got into computer business kind of early. I opened up an email account type server where we, we, I sold business account emails before Google made it free and put everybody like me out of business. I did that for a while, and then uh, about 2012, again 2012, I decided I wanted to try the car business. Yep, you've been there? Yes, sir. Ever since, have you? Absolutely. Love it. Love selling cars. He has a lot of fun selling cars. We have a lot of fun with Philip. He's a big Cleveland Browns fan. Yeah. Last year he bet me the Cleveland Browns would win 10 games. I don't think they won any. But, uh, so he was down on that bet. But he came back to Georgetown about two, three days ago. We've been having a lot of fun with Philip after he'd been here. Yesterday he decided that, that he'd bet a couple guys that he'd wear a dog shot collar. And we've actually got more videos on the shot collar than we have our tailgate talks. So. And, uh, but Philip is a good sport. Yes, sir. And he, he does a good job, and he he definitely will shock you with his deal. And, uh, but uh, and what do you think the difference between our store and a big store is? Well, I worked for one of the biggest uh, dealerships in Central Kentucky for about five years. I actually worked with Todd Ratliff, uh, one of my best friends in business as well. And uh, one of the things you notice in a big store, it's numbers game. It's all about get them in. Sit them down, make them wait two or three hours. They go on fine, they say come out, you shake your hand, you say goodbye. And you never talk or really follow up or see that customer again unless you do it on your own. You're, you're, you're treated like cattle. And I always want to know what it was like to work at a small dealership, which is why I came here last year and loved it. But I had an opportunity to, I thought, become a manager at another, another big dealership, so I went and tried that again. And I realized, you know, my heart and soul is in a small dealership. It's right here at George Hollow Sales. And I'm, I'm blessed that you brought it back, Rob. I'm very, very grateful that you did. Thank you. And We're I'm, shocked that he came. <laughs> I'm home. I honestly feel like this is my home. This is this will be the last car dealership I work at while I'm in the car business. I, I couldn't imagine working for anybody else, doing anything else in any other place. We, we, Y'all treat people right here. You do it the right way. And I'm, I'm proud and love being a part of this family. Philip, someone, if you call him, he is, he's a great guy to work with. He's, you can go out and you can call him on a car if you see an internet. Uh, see it online at Auto Trader or Car Guru or something, call Philip up. Uh, he'd be more glad to go out, and check a vehicle out for you, look it over good. Uh, he'll, he'll do anything he can to help you and he'll, he'll try to make your experience easy, comfortable, uh, and fun. I mean, you never know. You might be able to get him to do anything. If you, you know, it's hard to say. He, he's another one of our OGs. And uh, after yesterday, I believe he might actually be not just an old guy, he might be an original gangster. But, uh, but he definitely, he, he supports the veterans. Yes. Uh, anybody that's military in the Scott County, Lexington area, Fayette County area, needs to come in to see Philip. Uh, he supports you. If you come in, if you're going to buy a car from someone, you might as well buy it from a former Marine. Right. Uh, he, he'll shoot you straight. He'll be up front with you. Thank you, Rob. Absolutely. If you're a vet in the Central Kentucky area or even further Indiana any other state, give me a call. I'm going to treat you the right way because you're a veteran. Now, I'm going to treat everybody great, don't get me wrong. But veterans, I want—I always put a little, little emphasis on it. Like when I walk around like Walmart and I see somebody wearing a hat like I'm wearing now, 
I go up and shake their hand and thank them for the service because it takes a special sacrifice to do what we do, and we need to take care of each other. And just call Philip at 502-863-1347. This is our another edition of Tailgate Talk. Thanks. Hoorah. <laughs>